Go ahead and thought I'd make a little video, show you a little modifications that I did to my Sun Dolphin kayak. Alright, so first thing, I added a crate. I cut the crate so it'd fit a little bit better. Everybody puts their crate on the top and it goes straight across this and kind of cuts off a lot of your storage space. Um, just a small crate. I anchored it down with a couple of screws. Eventually I'll probably go through and do some sealing around them. That way no water does get in, but I don't normally have water in the back of this. Uh, I added three rod holders to the back. I just used some PVC pipe that I had. I bought at uh, like a Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, cut it to fit in the length that I wanted. Uh, zip tied them together, spray painted them, made them a little more copacetic. I also added little D-ring clips on the back with zip ties. I don't know if you can see, just looped them around. Now they have leashes. So if I do ever go into the water, um, my poles stay with me. Uh, I also added a Garmin fish finder. Uh, I think it's the Striker 4. Uh, pretty easy to install. Ran all the wiring up and through the hole. I'll kind of show you how I did it. Um, but it's great because now I can adjust it, find the fish, and fish on. Um, so what I did is I ran the transducer wire in the back. I don't ever use this water bottle holder, so I, it comes with a lot of extra wire inside there. Open it to show you. Um, I just drilled a hole in a little plastic container that I got at Walmart for like 50 cents or whatever. Uh, I'm eventually also going to uh, seal these holes. That way water just can't be sitting inside this thing. All right, I'll show you the transducer wire that I ran. I ran it straight out the back. Secured it with a couple of these little clips that come with the Garmin. Uh, down inside, I used a wooden dowel. A lot of people were, had different ideas about how to mount the transducer. I used a wooden dowel, cut it to fit, uh, notched it so my cord actually sits uh, in line with the dowel. Um, how I did it is when I, I used uh, silicone and silicone around the hole. I have my other two scupper plugs in the back by my butt. They're also uh, siliconed up, that way water doesn't come underneath. But I'll show you, I set it down, cut it to fit, I cut a hole in there. I'm gonna put a ring through this little hole right here, that way if it ever does come loose, um, it just, it'll stop right there through the scupper. So I let it sit on the floor and then let it dry. It's been drying for about 24, 24 hours, I would say. Uh, really easy, I just, again, made a hole in that uh, little dowel, put the screw in there, and that's how I did it. For the power wire, um, right here is a rod holder that uh, used to be there. I took the rod holder out. Um, I don't really ever use it, it's too low for me. So I ran the power wire up and through. I used a piece of wire to run underneath the boat um, through the back of the rod holder. I took that off, ran it up, grabbed the wire, and then pulled it on through. So it runs underneath, inside the boat, up through, and back out. So I notched, I notched this rod holder, and I notched the boat as well. I'll uh, also silicone that up just so it kind of prevents water from going inside. Um, Ran my power wires up through my basket, and now I'll have my battery sit here, and I'm gonna get another box that sits right here for my uh, for my battery. I can still utilize this space. I have a pretty big tackle bag that I like to use, um, so I can still utilize that space without having the crate on top and without having to take all my um, lock lock things out so it was a good idea for me maybe not for most people but i like the way it's set up so i haven't been on the water yet since still winter um there are some other things that i'm going to do as far as putting in a trolley system for the anchor um, i also did put in uh you can buy them from walmart too it's a metal bar it's a magnet bar so i could put all my um, needing those pliers, my cutters, anything that I need, um, extra lures that I, I take off. Um, I left two screws in the bottom here. That way I can run a leash to my needle nose. 
and if they fall off they fall off and I can still retrieve them so hope this helps people out on how to mount fish finder do the crate the rod holder um, you know it kind of helped me out when I was watching other people's videos too so but good luck